two pound sledgehammer, dead lithium cell. Sort of an obvious outcome, but hey. Nope. Well, not surprising, sort of obvious, but now we know for sure. So this thing started out as a 4S pack, but one of the cells has gone bad. The one right on top, as a matter of fact. Now I'd already removed the balance lead from this and then I had to separate them. So the trick that I thought of is try some dental floss. The nice thing about dental floss is once you slip it in between the cells, it has a tendency to cut through the adhesive without damaging the cell or pulling the cell apart, which would also, well, damage the cell. And you just slide it down and it cuts right through the adhesive nicely. Nicely. <clears throat> like I said, it slices right through it. All right, so it does take a little bit of effort, but it does work. By the way, this is kind of dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing around lithium batteries, don't try this at home. So now you can lift the cells apart. So now we have to cut the actual tabs and the easiest way to do it is actually with a pair of cutters like you just saw. And then you can separate, oh, there's Simon. Simon, you have the worst timing. All right, so the best thing to do here is to desolder the heavy cable from the dead cell. And that pops right off, of course. And then I'm just going to add my own solder to it. It always helps to flow, especially if you have solder that may or may not be lead free that you're dealing with. And particularly on cells like this. I mean, the solder that's on there is kind of grungy looking. So I just float a little bit of solder. Now, you don't want to get these too hot because those are plastic pouches. But, you know, use, use a pretty aggressive setting on the soldering iron and get in there quick and hot and it should solder up without any additional damage. If you don't have enough power, you're going to put too much heat into it and you're going to damage the cell. All right, so at this point, I decided to pull out the meter and check the voltage. And what do you know? That is a modestly charged 3S pack. So I took some tape at this point and cut it up to sort of wrap it up nicely before I slid the heat shrink tubing on it. And you did that both for the top and the bottom of the cells and just wrapped it around. And here's the yellow heat shrink tubing I chose because, well, what other purpose am I going to have for yellow heat shrink tubing? Let's just be honest here. A little bit of joy with the heat gun shrinks it all up and now you have a lovely 3S pack. So how well does our repaired battery work? How about running the tongue jack on a 26 foot trailer with a tongue weight of almost a thousand pounds? Let's see this puppy in action. You could use this in an RC car, plane, drone, whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.